Hi guys, welcome to Cake and It's Special with me, Lauren. This week I'm going to be showing you how I made a dinosaur dragon cake topper. So here we go. So I'm starting with a ball of Renshaw's flour and modelling paste that I've dyed purple. And I'm going to use my fingers to pull out a tail at the side. And then at the top I'm going to pull out a neck. So I'm sort of left with an L shape. Now I need to insert a lollipop stick into the base so it comes out of the neck. If I tried inserting it from the neck down, it would have ruined the shape that I've just made for the neck. When the lollipop stick is in place, I can take my knife and neaten off the neck. Before I add the arms and legs, I want to add a strip onto the belly. So I take some pink fondant and roll it out nice and thin and then use my knife to cut almost an A shape. Then I can stick this down the front of the dinosaur with the slimmer end starting at the top of the neck. I'm going to put it on a cake board while working on it. This just means that I don't have to handle it as much and there won't be any marks or fingerprints left in it. Top tips. I use water to stick everything in place. Then I take my sculpting tool and just drag it across the pink fondant, leaving lines. For the feet, I take more of my purple modelling paste and roll it into a wide tube. I run my finger across the middle to make it into two sections, so it's almost like a number eight. I flatten one end for the foot and use my knife to cut out three toes. and then slightly flatten the other end and attach that to the side of the body so it looks like he's sitting. I do two of these. His arms are quite thin. I flatten one end for the hand and once again cut out three fingers. And I'm also using my small balling tool to push it into the tips of the fingers and the toes so that I can add claws later on. For his head, I take my modelling paste and roll it into an oval. I use a sculpting tool to score in the mouth and add it to the top of the neck. And then I use my balling tool to add some eye sockets right on top of the head. And then a smaller balling tool for the nostrils. I take two balls of white modelling paste for the eyes. And I also use the white modelling paste for the claws. So I just roll out loads of teeny tiny petal shapes and stick them into the little holes that I added on the fingers and toes. Once again, I'm just using water as glue. You can use edible glue or you can even have Tylo's powder mixed into your water to make a glue, but I find that water works just fine for me. I wanted there to be spikes down the back, so I roll out more of my pink fondant and use a plunger cutter to cut out loads of little hearts. I cut off the rounded end leaving me with just the triangle. And then I can stick them on in a line, starting at the head and ending up at the tip of the tail. I also use some pink fondant to add some eyelids. I decided to add wings. This is where I became confused. 
if it has wings, is it still a dinosaur or is it now a dragon? Or because some dinosaurs have wings. I don't know. What do you think? So I take my pink fondant and add some Tylose powder to it. This will help the fondant firm up. So I roll the fondant out and add some cornflour to the top to stop it from sticking. Then I can cut it in half and put them one on top of the other. This way, when I cut out the shape for the wing, I will have two identical wings. I'm going to leave the wings aside for a while to dry while I add some rainbow dust to my dragon dinosaur thing. So I have a dark purple, a royal blue and a pink. I use the purple to darken out the areas that would be shadowed. So for example, inside the nostrils and in the mouth, etc. I wanted to add some blue to the tummy for some extra colour. And then I also go over the pink with my pink rainbow dust so it's not just one flat colour. I also add a touch of pink to the claws. When it comes to decorating the wings, I dust the edges with my blue rainbow dust. Then I take a pink gel with some more clear food grade alcohol and draw some lines along the wings. I take some black food colouring with a little clear food grade alcohol in it for the eyes. When the wings are fully set, I add them to the dragon with a tiny piece of fondant. I'm just doing this to show you, I had to remove mine straight away to give them more time to set. And there he is. Thanks so much for watching guys, I really hope you enjoyed it. I would like to know though, are you preferring the cake tutorials or the cake topper tutorials? Please let me know in the comments below which one you would like to see more of. And of course, please subscribe to this channel. I bring you a new tutorial every single Wednesday. So I'll hopefully see you next week. Thanks guys. Bye.